Zombie Apocalypse From reanimated corpses to deadly outbreak, the idea of zombies has spread like a virus, infecting every culture around the world. Something about these rotten corpses, with insatiable hunger for human flesh and the societal collapse, sounds so fascinating and thrilling. I remember I used to love zombie movies. Just imagining how we would react in such a situation resonates with our primal instincts. But most of us think of zombies as a work of fiction, and that was our biggest mistake. I am making this video so you don't repeat the same mistake and suffer the same fate as we did. It all began from a fungus. I know what you're thinking. Yes, it was the same fungus as The Last of Us. But how it went down was completely different. So listen to everything I'm about to say very closely. You see the cardiacid fungus mostly infect insects. The fungus takes over the host body and consumes it from inside out. It manipulates the host behavior causing it to climb higher locations so it can burst out of the host body and spread its spores to infect more insects. But you might be thinking that cardiacid can't really survive inside humans. Well in The Last of Us the fungus evolves because of global warming which doesn't seem so much plausible. But there's another way it can evolve. Gene editing is a powerful technology that allows scientists to make precise changes to the DNA of a living organism. Using tools such as CRISPR-Cas9, scientists can target specific genes and edit DNA sequences. And this has enormous potential, and the possibilities were endless. However, a lot of people were afraid that playing God can backfire. Some even called it a future weapon of mass destruction. As is often the case with new technology, that we ignore the potential dangers that might follow upon opening that Pandora's box. Now things happen so fast, we never got the time to find out who was responsible for it. But whoever it was fell victim to his own evil plan. The fungus was made to have a long dormant state, which means the fungus was inside us for a long time, maybe 6 months to 1 year. So we were just walking around for months without any symptoms, but still spreading it. And its ability to mutate rapidly just makes it very hard to develop a cure. And also, do not nuke the zombies. It just makes everything worse and uglier. Now, governments around the world might be regulating this technology. But you have to ask yourself, is this enough to stop the undead from becoming a reality? Yeah. Yeah. 